Hey guys, Beach Bottomus here. And today I'll be showing you guys how to make two different kinds of time bombs that can be used in Minecraft. And the first one here is pretty dang simple. I'll just go through it first because it does kind of explode at the end. But here we are. Once you step on, step on a little pressure plate right there, you could have two to prevent them from jumping over it. But I only have one right here. This triggers the redstone, it goes over here in a clock. No, not a clock, it's a little time mechanism similar to my alarm clock. And as you can see, the it would take just a little while, not too long, to get all the way over here. And this is going to be using adventure maps, as in you can put a lever right here. Uh oh, well, that was supposed to happen. Forgot the TNT was still there, but we have some TNT here. And, yeah, this will explode. But you could pull down the lever at the end of the hallway, just not have TNT next to it. And it could retract this piston, which t stops the timer as long as it hasn't gotten all the way over here yet. Which could make him escape unscathed. But, let's see what happens if he doesn't. Step on this, to the current, go down all the way over here. And it already, went, oh wait, let's fuse that. There we go, lights up that one. And he goes bye bye. If you guys want a more suspenseful, a little more complicated TNT lock, or not a lock, a TNT time bomb. And stay tuned for the next little segment here. Alright, here's, like, we could actually use my alarm clock as a more suspenseful way to produce the TNT time bomb. Like, you could have to run around a series of rooms, like, just slapping some piston, not some piston, some levers to detract pistons to stop the current from flowing. And you could watch it slowly build up, and when it reaches the top right here, you could watch kill yourself. Like, just replace these notebooks, some TNT. String it around the room so it kills everything. I obviously don't want to do that in here, but it would be pretty simple to make, actually. It would be pretty cool. This this could allow for longer timing. And it would look awesome having sand falling down there symbolizing your death and how close like how much time you have left. Like if you got up to the 330 mark and you still had to press a few levers, you would be hustling like it's no tomorrow, because it probably wouldn't be. But this has been a short little tutorial of Reach Bottomus. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and Till with you next, and I will see you guys later. See ya.